Edna. So <laughs> let me ask you a question. Like right now, when you take our economy, the state of it, what advice would you give our president? At yeah. is going through a lot. I hope you are really paying the debt, by the way. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Your, you match the words that you're giving to us. I think that's all I was going to say. And all the best. <laughs> okay, then another question. According to the state we are in, as youth, Kenyans youth, you can see how your age mates are struggling to find a job, get employed something like that there are those who are employed others are unemployed others are struggling to go abroad to look for job where some are being mishandled what advice would you give to our youths immediately after i finished school my, my mentality was at a place where my mentor my mind was at a place where i thought you could actually like find work very easy so and realistic is actually not very easy. So, especially if you, if you did your exams very well and you haven't found an internship or job, it, it can be very, you know, you know, sucking a lot of energy from you because you have done your part and now the, the country is not matching to giving you some work. So, if you're that type of a person who is watching this, just hold on and know that we originally went to school or, or were taken to school not to only get money from the courses we have done professionally but to be able to attain like you know money in different ways to maintain our our lifestyle so be aware you you might never earn or enjoy the money of your profession or whatever course you have learned and those who are going there who are you know daring enough to go abroad just pray that you also get good you know good employees and all the best if i also got such an opportunity i would run i would run i'll not think twice about it so yes i think employment is really tough and the thought that you know you need to know someone to get you know a good job yeah that's the country you're living in so just know you're not alone yeah I myself am not yet employed, but by the grace of God, you know, you find somewhere to get attached to, somewhere else you can get, you know, just try and figure out ways of getting money in different ways. You can do hair dressing, you can, you know, sell, whatever. I don't, don't sell people. <laughs> That's kind of nice. The next question is, mm -hmm, as a youth, You've uh, been uh, outside school, you've been struggling to build your life here and there, hustling. Then you had a career. Would you mind telling us more about your career? <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 can you guys? Actually, if, if you're a big follower of my channel, you know that I'm a surveyor. I'm a surveyor professionally. I've done my certificate in. Technical University of Kenya, then I've done my diploma in Regional Center of Mapping. So, professionally, I'm a surveyor, but I think generally I'm a businesswoman because for survival and for some upkeep, I usually sell some tools. I used to sell back in school, I used to sell earrings. You know, I've done so many, you know, make the pose here and get some cash from it. It's the money, the goal is the money. So, Professionally, I'm a surveyor, but I don't limit myself from any other. Now, I'm also a content creator. If you haven't subscribed, then be subscribed. So, I'm open. Have an open mind to any ways that will bring you money, not just your professional. Yeah. And I don't have much experience in my profession. I'm now an intern for like now 11 months, so I don't have much experience with my career. Yeah, that's it.
Ah, that's kind of cool. The next question, Edda. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the next question is, when you've been given a chance to stay in Kenya or go abroad, which one will you prefer? I run. <laughs> I'm gonna run. If the dollars there, maybe uh, the currency uh, compared to Kenya is high, mm. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go. As long as I'm not going to be mistreated or wash any, you know, dead people, yeah, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Be sure. I'm gonna run. Unless Kenya, they are paying me like good salary, and there's no, I don't think there's an amount of good salary. Mm -hmm. But unless, you know, especially in, in, for my country, and this is my local place, unless. Mm -hmm. God opens for me doors that I get good money that I can invest and build myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be here, but you know, the currencies are nice, mm -hmm. and because I have a dream of going abroad, mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna run. <laughs> what advice would you give to a person who has given up on his or her career? Given up on his or her career. Yeah. You know, there are so many. There are so many. If you have given up, what ways are you using? Am I implementing to get money? If you are having other ways, so if you're having other ways where you're able to get money and manage your lifestyle with them, if you have given up because of job opportunities, but you have other ways, well done. If you have given up because you have never gotten work and you're also not getting other channels to get money. Just hold on. The process is tough, but you know, at the end of the tunnel, they see there is some light. So just don't give up. Don't give up. We are not born to give up. So hold on to life. Life gets better with time. Okay, okay that's what's the next advice. Okay, another question is about the dating life. As a youth right now, you've got a, you've got much experience about that. What's your experience? Tell us more. My experience, I think mm -hmm. I've been in the roller coaster of what relationship is defined. I've been cheated on. I have cheated on someone. Yeah, so bad. I've cheated on someone. Mm -hmm. I've dated single dad. Yeah, I've dated a single dad. Wow. Yeah, I've dated a single dad. I've never dated someone younger than me. I've never dated someone younger than me. I've also left relationships that mm. were good. I think that was the toughest, the toughest experience of all is that when everything else is okay, but your goals don't align, then you have to depart. That was the most painful one. I have to accept right now. The part of calm, that was the most painful one, and also to get over this part. I've been in the, in the roller coaster of relationships, so. Yeah, that's why I think I'll do more podcasts about relationships ah. and dating. Yeah. Okay, that was nice. Okay, another another question is, given a chance to date a white or a black guy, which one would you prefer? <laughs> a tricky one. <laughs> okay. Since no white man has ever approached me and dated me, so I don't know. I think I will, I will be very accommodating to that. But I've never been approached by a white man, so I'm used to this black man, you know, in Kenya. So, but I don't know, I don't know my reaction. I guess I'm going to be very interested. You know, I'm white man, so, so, like, you prefer that? <laughs> I'm never curious, I'm curious, you know, I'm curious to know how they are. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Leo, she, fa, yo, she.